going into your bat last Bedlam game here at Gallagher Abbott? Uh, it means a lot, you know. It's a very intense game. Um, it's a game that, um, you know, definitely a lot of fans here will, you know, remember the senior group for. You know, I mean, that's a really big, 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 very important game, you know, for for this university in this state, in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, you know, I just want to represent this team in the right way. When you think back to your first bedlam you played, and what do you remember learning about the rivalry? Uh, you know, that is very intense. Um, if you really don't know how tense it is, I mean, it only takes a couple seconds in the game to really uh, take notice of how physical and, um, you know, and how personal, you know, people take these games and as far as the fans and the players. So, um, and it didn't take long for me to, to realize, you know, and from then on, you know, I've been trying to carry that on to the guys who have never been in Bellum games before. Avery talked about how the last time y'all played against OU, he said the communication wasn't great. How are y'all trying to work to improve that where you're talking more? Yeah, we're just gonna, uh, you know, just be more attentive at communicating, and um, you know, just trying to lock in more on the defensive end. Uh, it's, it's very, it's gonna be very um, individual oriented as far as our defensive assignments go. Um, we do play team defense, but also you understand we have to understand like you know they have uh, good isolation scores and uh, guys who can really put the ball in the hole. So uh, you know, we uh, do a great job on that, and I think we'll be in a, we'll be in a good position on the game. <laughs> the season's getting late here. How much do you think of the postseason? You know, you haven't been to the tournament in a few years. How much do you think of that? I don't think about it at all. I take one game. I take it game at a time. You know, I think that's what's, um, you know, try to look too far ahead and you lose sight of what's right in front of you. So, I mean, what is it called? Nearsighted? Where, like, you can't see what's right in front of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't want to become like that if from a basketball standpoint, you know. For the past couple of weeks, the team has been wearing pennies at practices, and it seemed like this is one of the first practices that you guys are actually wearing your regular practice jerseys. Was there a lesson Boynton had as to why you guys weren't wearing your regular uniforms? Yeah, just um, you know, taking taking personal accountability to um, you know our mistakes and having a lot more pride on the court. You really can't get away from it. Um, you know, with Oklahoma State, as far as practice goes, um, once we take the jerseys off, it's just us, you know. Cam, you made a mistake, not uh, Oklahoma State, you know. Like, in the sense of we have to take more pride in ourselves before we go look around as a unit first. So, you know, I think we uh, definitely took that message on. Uh, I think we, we earned those, those jerseys back. Um, and, you know, it's definitely a privilege to have them. You know, that's, a, that's, a, that's how we should look at it from now on. Um, you know, this team is definitely uh, taking a few strides. Um, you know, we had a little hitch the, uh, the other night, but we definitely try to still continue to move forward. You've been here a few years now. Do you kind of feel like a, I don't know, like a full Oklahoman, but do you feel a little more Oklahoman, I guess, than you came here? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, I mean, I get to go home maybe four, five weeks out of the year um, in the past four years. So, um, yeah, I guess you can say. I mean, I know, I know the I know the town pretty well. I, I kind of know the state. You know, I know I say Miami. So, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, I guess you can say that uh, I've got my citizenship. Brady Manic had a big game last time. Don't let him catch the ball. Gets that thing off at a quick rate. He's pretty high, uh, pretty tall as well, so uh, you know size doesn't really bother him. So you know, just run him off the line, keep him off the glass. Just be more attentive to where he's at on the court at all times. We talked to Avery about that TikTok with Gundy. Are you mm -hmm. into that at all? <laughs> yeah, TikTok, right? yeah, that's not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely for the young guys, but you know. It's cool. It's a good way to express himself. It'll be a surprise if you see me on there. So, yeah. It'll be something different. I don't know. They might drag me out one day. I don't know. We'll see. Get to win Saturday, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.